Hey everybody, I'm Rob. I'm Sean, and welcome back to Tin Plated. Okay. Now, in our last episode, if my memory serves, it occasionally does, we decided we were going to go check out what was behind the Baron Iron Scrotum. I think his name might be Havel. Behind his door. Maybe his name isn't Havel, and he just killed someone who took the ring. Very possible. He's killed a lot of people. He could easily have a, a, a Sean and Rob's ring. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Be cool if we got that back. Now, we we took out the Moonlight Butterfly. Not a huge challenge. We went through the jungle. Kind of a big deal, actually. Darkroot uh, Garden, I think it was called. I believe it was. Which, I remember when, when we first defeated the Baron Iron Scrotum, we, uh... We saw that behind him was called Dark Root Basin, so I'm guessing the two areas are at least related, probably connected. But we'll find out very shortly. Or some one guy named Dark Root did a lot of exploring. It's true. Maybe he's the Christopher Columbus of Lordran, I think this world is called. So somebody else discovered it first and he got his name in all the books? Yep. Righteous. But then who would be the Amerigo Vespucci? Because it's named Lordran. So obviously named after him. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. A little out of practice on this area. A little bit. A little bit. It's all right. Oh, as always. Those of you who are new to the show, every time I drink out of my Estes flask, Rob has to drink out of his horn. This time, the horn's filled with Evan Williams and Sam's Cola. Because if you're going to spend money on the liquor, you've got to save money on the cola. That and I bought the drinks, so I'm cheap. And I like Evan. What can you do? Okay. It's a little weird getting to walk into here without the, the mounting sense of apprehension and terror. You know, it's true. This is the first time you've ever gone down these stairs where my asshole was not puckered so tight you couldn't drive a nail through it. We had to get new chairs where we were taking chunks out of it every time they tightened. Alrighty. Shot our furniture budget right in the head. And our furniture budget is basically whatever we can find on the side of the road, so there you go. Yeah. All right, Dark Root Basin. Looks like we're up above where we were before, which I suppose makes sense from the the general layout. Yeah. Okay. See some we writing, got a soul. some items, all sorts of stuff. Let's. At any point, those <clears throat> ants are going to come popping out of the ground. Oh, there's no doubt. Here. Here. Okay. Well, that's. Kind of metaphysical, I guess. Yes, right. we are here. It that, is here. That leads up somewhere. We'll come back to that. Look at the water. It's so pretty. Whoa. Whoa, whoa. What is, what is that? Is that another one of the forest giants? Whoa! Whoa, it's... Crystally. I'm going to call it Jesse. Jesse? Big blue crystal. Uh-huh. I am the one who knocks. Exactly. Jesse, we have to cook. See, and over there, that's Walt. Oh, okay. Well, then who's the guy in the back? Is that Skyler? That would be Saul. Uh, oh, roll out of the way. Okay. What a cool enemy. They aren't too tough, but they, they just I get look the feeling. Cool. Yeah, I get the feeling that's going to hit like a ton of bricks if he catches me with it, though. Uh, oh, there's no doubt. It's going to be like getting run over by a Mack truck. Oh, well, actually, that's not that bad. I don't want to take him on purpose, but, uh... Oh, that was close. Now we just get to wonder if these guys are the precursor to, like, a giant one of these. Yeah. Drink. Okay, looks like there's two more of them left. That would be Skylar and... Oh, shit! Oh, yeah, what the, the fuck is that? You're right. What the hell? 
Uh, I don't know, but it looks like it's coming in from beyond the from that water the tree line. Um, is that oh, the there's a hydra. It's a hydra. Um. Oh, oh. <laughs> Killed their own guy though. I'd hit yep. that blast. Well, not while this shit's coming at me. Okay. Um. I'm a little intimidated by that Hydra. That was 506 damage he did to the crystal guy. That's, that's just straight up, yeah. Yeah, that's that's a fuckload. It reminds me of the plasma bugs from Starship Troopers. The way his attacks come in all slow and blue. Okay. So should we... Let's go see what that text says over there. That might have some helpful hints. Try running, maybe. Danger ahead. That would be the sort... The sort of, uh... Super obvious hints that we've been getting. Safe, safe zone. zone. We're safe from its, uh, shooting. Nice. Okay. That actually is... Kind of useful. Yeah. I hope you can swim. Uh... We don't have any ranged attacks. It would beat the butterfly. Maybe it has to beat itself once in a while. I don't think so. Holy shit. Okay, what's up there? Flask. Oh, God. Nice. Why am I doing this? This is a bad idea. Fisherman soul, maybe? Knight armor. Cool. Oh, I am slow as shit in the water. And hey, he does come to shore. Yeah, for me. Well, I hit him a little, but I didn't. Uh, oh, God. Run. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll, we'll come back to this guy. We need to make a revenge part two. This seems like a perfect opportunity. Now run, 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 run. Yeah, we're planning ahead. We are not running away. We're planning ahead for future content. We're doing this for you. Yeah. The viewers. Oh. Okay. Oh. Damn. I don't even I don't even know. Okay. Well, um I guess we're not uh not really supposed to go that way yet. Maybe he's like a, a bonus. You mean he's like the moth or something? I I guess maybe. You'll notice he didn't get a cutscene. That's true. The other bosses that have been serious bosses have all gotten cutscenes. He didn't have a name either. Let's see what's down here before we go up. Sticking with our sexual fetish means of naming, is he the the flail or the scourge? I think we can just call him the Hydra, because he's a Hydra. He is a Hydra. Oh! Yeah. Well, look at that! The Lich King's back! Okay, no. Long time no see! Not fighting him on this ledge. Shit. I was not prepared for this. An option would be to lead him close to the Hydra. Look at that! He's got a different weapon! Yeah, he's got uh, uh, a sputum. Remember the... Isn't that what the Latin word was for... The sputum was actually a, um, a thrown javelin. Ah. Well, let's not give him ideas about throwing this thing. Yeah. I think... What's the Japanese... Tombakiri? Uh... <laughs> I guess that's sort of a Naginata, but not Naginata. quite. Okay. I mean, if nothing else, it'd be a type of halberd. Yeah. Oh! Look at him poking me, poking me, poking me, poking me. Oh, shit! Uh, okay, we're going to run so that our souls are easier to recover. Huh. He's definitely faster than his counterparts. Yeah. Maybe lead him over and let the Hydra's attacks do a little damage. Well, that would mean I have to clear out the crystal guys again, and I'd really rather not. They aren't super tough. Well, yeah. We got some intel now, so maybe right. that We definitely help. know what we're going in, getting into. How many souls did we have? Four thousand something. Ah, we've lost more than that. We should be fine getting back to get to it. We piss away 4,000 souls on the daily. Rich Uncle Soul Bags. That's us. 
Did you know his name got changed to just the Monopoly guy now? Really? He, he is officially the Monopoly guy. He's no longer Rich Uncle Pennybags. I wonder why that is. I don't know. It's, it seems it seems like it robbed him of flavor. Maybe it's one of those things where the people who are like in charge of Monopoly development, because I mean, let's face it, there's a billionopolies. Maybe they got so sick of people not knowing his name that they just cracked. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. He doesn't get a name. He's the Monopoly guy. You happy We're doing now? We're live. Yeah. You happy? Is this what you want? I want to know, is there a monopoly Opoly where each of the properties is just one of the billions of Monopoly games? <laughs> Monopolopoly. Right. Or Monopolyopoly. Monopoly. That would be Polyopoly, though. Got a little too Latin for me pretty quick. I do know this. Where I'm from, if you didn't have a copy of Volopoly and somebody came over to your house, it was probably getting burned down. I had Irishopoly from uh, from near South Bend, where Notre Dame is. Were each of the squares just a type of liquor? Or a brand of whiskey, I should say? No, as in fighting Irish, not the actual Irish. Ah. Different dorms and, and such. How exciting. I think I would feel bad if the dorms were the properties and, like, I was, my dorm was the ghetto property. That's true. Like, I'd be like, I guess I'm just going to go buy the slums that I live in. <laughs> well, I think they also use the halls and stuff. Well, even then, think about it. If your major is the one that's the ghetto-ass property, it's, oh, well, I know I'm a history major, but you don't have to remind me I'm going to be poor forever. <laughs> well, they could have made it the student center. That's like, true. Every student center I've always been to has this sort of thin veneer of quality over pure solidified feces. The nicest one I ever went to, the highlight was it had a soft serve ice cream machine. Oh yes. And that was like, it took me a minute. I was like that Indian when he saw pollution. There was one tear just rolling down. I'm thinking let, let's go up and see what's here. Because it might be a shorter path. Because the way down to the Lich King looks pretty long. And pretty filled with a Lich King. What the? Oh my god, it branches off so many times. It's going to take forever Is to it kind of like everything. a root Ooh. system? Look. Leather armor. Leather. Hey, 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 hey. A yeah. longbow and some arrows plus that leather might be lighter than what we got. Yeah. Well, let's, let's go ahead and swap out the gargoyle tail axe because we weren't terribly impressed. We'll fiddle with the longbow in a little while. We're going to keep that gargoyle helm because it's pretty pimping. Let's look. I know we upgraded it, but... Hmm. Um, it looks like the Wanderer stuff has a slight edge. And it's even lighter. Yeah. Now, okay. what about the knight stuff? Maybe like oh, yeah, yeah. Let's the knight gloves or something, just to give us a little more armor without a ton of weight. Uh, let's see. So we're looking at 16, 14, 18, 15... They're inferior in every way to the elite night leggings, which we found earlier and rejected. All right. Well, you know, at least we got some cool stuff. We're hoarding it. And if we ever meet somebody willing to buy, we are willing to sell. Yup. I think this game has like a, a new game plus function, so maybe we can hoard the equipment for some sort of future playthrough. Oh, that'd be cool. I mean, it's a Japanese game. They're big on the new game pluses. Ooh, well. Oh, come on, man. That thing's pretty. Yep, pretty dead. Twinkling, Twinkling Titanite. We needed Twinkling Titanite. I don't remember what for, but I remember the blacksmith. It's how yeah. we upgrade the uh, gargoyle helmet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got toys now. Yeah. What was that thing? Some sort of crystal bug. Yeah, it looked like just a jewel beetle. Oh, remember we saw one of those earlier, the, the secret in... Uh, Baron Iron Scrotum's tower, and it disappeared before we got to it. Oh, yeah. Well, at least we got this one. Oh, speaking of secrets we screwed up, uh, one of our regular viewers, Afro Joe, 
posted in response to us uh, apparently ruining uh, that firekeeper soul. Yeah, apparently we're supposed to take them back to this chick at Firelink Shrine. And she upgrades our flask. And we totally wasted it. Also, two things. One, I did my two drinks for the two hits of your flask. I missed, so everybody keep up. Two. Wait a minute. You see where we are? I do. We're in Dark Root Garden. How did we miss that path before? Because it's kind of behind us, and we just went tearing after it. Let's make sure it actually is exactly the same place. Let's go up a little bit, and if it is... Oh, it is. Well, then we've thoroughly explored. Yeah, I think that's the... Yep. Is that the garden door? No, this is the... This is the place. I think we're going the opposite direction. No, because here's this guy. Yeah. Okay, we'll kill them, and we'll go back. Actually, let's go back towards... Uh, Towards where the blacksmith is, so that we can see about using that Twinkling Titan. Now, does Afro Joe do playthroughs or Let's Plays? Yes, he does. In fact, there will be an annotation right about now. So you can go check out his channel. Yeah. He's actually also playing through Dark Souls. And uh, at the time of recording this, he hasn't died yet. Uh, I don't know if he did in his latest video, because I'm not watching... Ahead uh, of where we are, that'd yeah. be cheating. And it's a motivation for us to continue. Yeah, we only watch when we've uh, the stuff he's done that we've done so that we can feel extra bad about ourselves. But they're well-made videos. It's it's really humiliating. Especially since he keeps saying, no, I'm not good at this at all. I'm pretty terrible. And then we look at our playthrough and we're just a steaming pile of a horse dung. Now this looks new. No, no oh, remember, okay. this is where we killed, uh, the, killed gim. the Gim. I just hadn't seen it from that angle. Well, hey, at least we're close to the blacksmith for that Twinkling Titanite. Yep. Okay. Ting, ting. Hey, buddy. We are, thank you. Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and... Oh, not weapon. That helmet. That helmet. Well, there it is. Gargoyle Elm plus one. Oh, do, I think it do it again. Do it again. Yeah. All right. All right. Now that we've done that, let's go up to the, uh, to the campsite. Let's save, top ourselves off, and take a quick break so I can make another cocktail. All righty. We'll be back. <laughs> 